Moving right along, let's go to item number 12. And item number 12 is the town manager's performance evaluation. Drum roll, please. <laughs> So, Madam Chair, uh, I'm going to just walk through the methodology for this for, for so people are aware of it. I'm, uh, I'm able to share my screen to the, uh, to the meeting, uh, which I'll, I'll do. So hopefully people are able to see it. I can make it bigger uh, if, if people have difficulty seeing it. Okay, so... Hopefully we're able to see this. Uh, this first part, I'm just gonna, you, we don't necessarily need to be able to read. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of show people what, what, what our evaluation looks like. Uh, so each member of the select board was given uh, this, this document and their, their uh, task was to go through these various um, uh, items. Each one was indexed. Uh, there's expectation that is either an annual expectation or it's part of the fiscal 23 goals uh, that were set out ahead of, ahead of time. The areas of responsibility fall within one of, uh, I think, five domains. We have um, community and intergovernmental relations. I think that might say more than that, but uh, here we go. fiscal management, um, relationship with board, uh, town meeting, and the community, long range planning, government operations, and community and intergovernmental uh, relations. So those are the different areas of responsibility. And within each of those, there's some item that's being evaluated. Uh, something like plan, you know, plans and organizes the, the uh, preparation of an annual budget, as an example. So each mem member was asked to grade uh, the town manager's performance based on these various evaluation items. Uh, they did so by choosing from a little drop-down menu here, either outstanding, above expectations, meet expectations, below expectations, needs improvement, or unable to judge. And then if, there's, if they wanted to provide comments, there's a space for that as well. The scores themselves uh, are outlined here. I'll, I can make this a little bit larger on this next tab, which is score definitions. So what it means for somebody to, uh, to score outstanding is that they consistently exceeded this uh, job factor expectation as recognized by peers and or public as a leader and positive example to others. Above expectations, uh, consistently meets, meets and occasionally exceeds this job factor expectation. Meets expectation, consistently meets this job factor expectation, satisfactory. Below expectation is occasionally fails to meet this job factor expectation. A needs improvement, uh, consistently fails to meet this job factor expectation and a job performance uh, improvement plan is required. Uh, and then there may be one of several reasons why a member may feel like they are unable to judge. It can, can be they don't have enough information. Or uh, also if, if there's an area where there uh, represents a potential conflict of interest, they, they can choose to, to, to just say that they were unable to judge. Uh, there is an, you know, a request that they, they uh, provide some explanation. Uh, there's no requirement of that if, if, if you know, obviously, but um, if, it's, if it's helpful for people to understand what was missing, that could also help in the long run. Each one of these comes with a, with a point value, uh, five down to one, with uh, unable to judge, uh, has no point value at all, so it doesn't affect any averages uh, in that particular area. So everyone's, uh, let me see, let's hide. Uh, so this page is going to be kind of big. It's going to be, I'll break it down in a second, but uh, each uh, individual member's um, uh, evaluation, the scores that they gave, uh, I just put the, the actual uh, number of the, the point value for each one of their, their um, uh, ratings for each uh, evaluation item and then average them down at the bottom. Uh, we'll see those, those numbers are there, but I, I've put them separately as well, so they're maybe a little bit easier to read. Um, and then also any comments that we have, I've ag aggregated those here as well. Uh, and I just forget to mention that actually there's, there's a self-evaluation component of this as well, so Mr. Coulter has provided his own, re his own uh, review of his work and he's provided comments as well. So for whoever had comments for, for any of these um, 
uh, evaluation items. All those comments are preserved here. Uh, and the original documents will, will be available as well, but uh, these are just, it's all consolidated, aggregated into one place. So as I mentioned, we have the average by reviewer. I'm just gonna make this really big here. Uh, we can see that, that on a scale of uh, uh, one to five, that um, uh, all members, and Mr. Calder as well, fell somewhere in between uh, a rating of four and five. So somewhere between above expectations and outstanding. Uh, the average, if you include the town manager, is 4.5, and the average of just the select board members is also 4.5. So there's a pretty, pretty strong agreement uh, on, on um, that performance. And the d distribution fell, falls within, within a very narrow range. Uh, I did also break out the averages based on uh, the uh, evaluation items themselves. The one item I, I wanted to, uh, to maybe highlight that may be helpful is if we filter, so as I mentioned, everything falls between four and five, all of the averages. So if, uh, I, I did pull out a couple of things that, are, that were either four or somewhere between four and 4.2. So on the lower range of the four to 4.2. So if the, these were all things, these are all items that were deemed uh, to be above expectations, uh, but they were on the lower end of, of Mr. Coulter's total rating. Uh, and so I just wanted to, to show these because this might be some area where he wants to go from being only exceptional to <laughs> <laughs> Uh, to, to the superhuman levels that we see in some other areas. Uh, and that is uh, document an economic development plan, uh, organize a strategic purchasing program to save 10% fr uh, from top 30 vendors, create a rolling four-year capital plan, models sound personal procedures, sorry, personnel procedures and practices uh, in oversight of human resource function, create a detailed organization structure and chart, uh, facilitate a professional development program for finance, clerk, and HR office, uh, ensure that uh, an attitude and feeling of help, uh, helpfulness, courtesy, and sensitivity to public uh, perception exists in employees uh, coming in contact with the public, uh, research land, landfill solar farm history, and begin assessing 40K in personal property taxes, and then build and continuously improve new website. Uh, and I believe that, I, and I couldn't be wrong, uh, but I, I did quickly check, and I think that Mr. Coulter's own ratings um, were, were also in line with this. Now, that is the, um, perhaps the, the downside. I did want to also point out that there are several items where he, uh, uh, received either a, 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 an average 4.8 or a 5. And so for the, these are items for which he is, has um, uh, excelled uh, and, and for, for which he's, he's um, uh, we universally praised amongst the board. Um, this is a complete health insurance plan design and gain unanimous union support, interprets uh, and executes uh, the intent of board policy, leads to the negotiation of labor contracts uh, representing town interest and board guidelines, negotiate and execute CBAs with all eight unions, analyze water rate structure, uh, adjust rates and extinguish structural deficit, uh, analyze sewer rate structure, uh, adjust rates and extinguish structural deficit, revise and update employee job descriptions, rebuild town hall following January flood, and then resolve Stoughton uh, PD lawsuit, ULP, and grievances. So these, these were all uh, universally understood to be uh, you know, absolutely outstanding work uh, for the town. I also broke out the averages based on the areas of responsibility. And uh, uh, the lowest is, is, I think, is this long range planning, though I, I just would like to point out that that, that only had two items. Uh, Long range planning, where are you? There it is, it's only these two. Uh, so maybe the, the field's kind of small compared to govern, government operations, which I think had, what, 
17 items. So, uh, so uh, perhaps the, the, the population's a bit small to really draw conclusions. Um, however, government operations with 17 items uh, has an aver average of four point, oh, let me make that bigger so it's easier to see, uh, 4.6. Uh, relationship with the board, town meeting, the community is 4.7. So those are definitely areas of uh, you know, really profound strength uh, for the town. Uh, I did want to offer the, the various members an opportunity to uh, add any additional comments. Obviously, all of their, their written comments are preserved here and will be provided to everybody. Uh, but I also wanted to, if anybody made, wanted to make public comments, and I thought it would also be appropriate for, to offer Mr. Coulter an opportunity to make a public comment as well. I'm going to stop sharing. Hopefully that was useful. So is there any, would anybody like, I, I, don't, I don't mind starting, but I don't want to steal the, the stage. Does anybody want to make any public comments? Mr. Kersky? Thank you, Mr. Vice Chair, Madam Chair as well. Uh, through you, I scored differently and I scored based on my first term as a member of the board in 1992. You know, and my son is, you know, a grown man. Both my boys are grown men. They weren't when I started. But uh, it was different because I've served with every town manager except for the two interims that have gone through here. And um, looking at, at, at all of them, uh, and I'll say, right, I gave fives right across the board. I'll say that publicly. Because when I started, town government was different. It was surely different in 1992. Mr. Gito can attest to that. He served on a couple boards back then with me, and as well as a town meeting rep well before I was here. And um, it was different, and you could govern differently. And um, you didn't have what you have in government now with the people that, you know, uh, the, the Facebook thing now, that everybody looks at Facebook and that's all the facts, and it really is probably 5% fact. And seeing what Tom did, and uh, Steve will remember this, when we were on the, um, the selection committee, we had quite a few um, candidates to go through that day. Mr. Coulter, I believe, was number three, Steve. And uh, I said to Steve after the third one, I just found my town manager. And uh, you said something that I don't recall exactly, but how, do you, how can you do that? And I just said experience. Because when he was a candidate, this town manager knew our, knew our needs. He had been on looking at websites. He was looking at our unfunded, uh, our uncollected taxes, our revenue, our spending. And he knew that. And he had a plan. And unlike many candidates that interviewed, all we heard about was the things that they did at this other town, but they, were, they wanted to leave that town. And at every conversation that was taken, uh, you know, that Mr. Coulter made regarding this is, when I start, I will do this. After I start, I will, you know, start this program, and he did that. Fast forward, you know, just shy of a year, Mr. Coulter exposed three long-term deficits that were growing and how people before him didn't know that, and some of our managers didn't know that, I still can never put my finger on. But not only did he expose the deficits, he found the funding source. He corrected that. Now he's got us back on, and some of us that were here when Christine Howe was on the board, I think it's just Steve and me at this point, and um, Christine said, and I agreed with her, she said when we were shortcutting the increases we were getting from MWRA, you know, we weren't putting enough of a, the rate increase on the residents. We feel bad, and I understand. I, I did it myself. But as I said, you know, someday, and Christine made the comment first, and I said, I've said that before, and I agree with it now, that we're going to end up somewhere that we don't want to be. And, and that, came, that came forward. Uh, and then, you know, we had the insurance issue that popped up. And again, this is one that really filled a room full of town employees. And I can't say that I've ever seen anybody else that was there. I can't say I've ever seen such a large group of town employees show up in one location and were legitimately concerned for the future of their jobs and pay and benefits. Um, Mr. Coulter 
found that out, got to the bottom of it, worked with both sides, met with school people, met with the town side, and they resolved it. Um, we've had, and I don't have to you know, go through everything, um, for the first time that I can remember, we don't have people looking to find out where their contracts are, when we're doing We have stability with all of our labor units that are under the control. That we sign those contracts. This board, our board, signs those contracts. First time we've had everybody working together. They're all happy. They've been treated well, and, and that, that goes on. I could go on and on and on, but I can say in my experience that uh, Mr. Calder is the best town manager, and I not knock everybody made their, their, their difference in the town, and uh, everybody did a great job, but uh, the difference between Mr. Calder and his dedication to the job and the, the countless hours that he puts in, uh, and I don't think there's anyone that hasn't gotten a call on a weekend or early morning or late at night on an issue. Uh, our emails are there with messages. And again, look at the things that we've been able to do in the last year working with Mr. Calder on this board. And I, I think that I'm pretty qualified to say that uh, we're working better as a board as well as a result of the leadership of Mr. Calder being able to work with the crews here, our employees, uh, our employees here in this building are doing work that they would never do before, and they're servicing the residents of this town you know, in a better manner uh, as a result of that leadership and the style changes and people being vested. I've never seen, and I've said this before, I've never seen our employees you know, in the town of Stoughton ever see this town, uh, a town manager as much as Mr. Calder has been there. And I was at uh, one of the meetings with the DPW over the trash, you know, and he's empowering our employees. Our employees are working better for the people of Stoughton because they're empowered. They're, you know, their boss knows what they're doing, takes an interest, and gets engaged when he needs to. So uh, with that, um, you can send my check to the house. Uh, but no, uh, Tom, Joe, I gotta tell you, you that um, it's, it's been a pleasure this year. It's been a pleasure. And uh, you know, now that all these little comments are made, what do you got next for us, right? But no, thank you very much for everything you do. Uh, and I'll say, you know, I'd go as far as the people that you've never met, but you've made a difference in their lives, is what a town manager is supposed to be. You help the town grow. So uh, if we can help you grow, we got to continue with that. So thank you. Looking forward to the next year. Thank you, Mr. Chino. Any comments you'd like to make? Uh, yes. Uh, I've said to uh, the town manager that he's the best one that uh, we've ever had. And uh, yet I seem to have given him the lowest score of anybody in the group. Um, I actually gave you some threes, which just... You did a good job, uh, but maybe I just come from a different scoring system than anybody else. I don't think that my uh, my uh, appreciation for your work is any different, uh, but it certainly seems like it must be from the numbers. Um, no, you've done an outstanding job, I think, in uh, in all the areas that uh, that Joe had mentioned, and uh, I uh, I gave you outstanding in those areas. But I'm a realist, I guess. Uh, maybe I'm not. Uh, you you walk on water, but you sometimes have to find a uh, a rock. <laughs> uh, you haven't found any any deep rocks, I wouldn't say. I wouldn't say you've found any rocks or had to. Um, but I, I think that when I, when I look at a person, when I look at a job, some of them are harder than others. And some of them actually are on that list were falling off the log items. And, you know, I don't think that you can be outstanding and falling off a log. And 
I didn't give you an outstanding on those. But that doesn't mean that you didn't do a good job and I didn't appreciate that work. Uh, so I hope that, that when you look at the individual scores, that you will look at them from that perspective. Thank you. Lou, I want to say how much I appreciate your mentorship. I really do. And your friendship. Thank you. Mr. Carrera, anything you'd like to add? There's, there's, <laughs> there's not much more I can add for what Joe said and, um, and what you and Joe did by scrutinizing who was the best ones to look at for a town manager. And I've hired a few in my time. But I, I will say that um, I appreciate the job that Tom's doing. I come from a different sector than a lot of people. I, I, I was thrust into being a boss at 17 when my father almost died from cancer. But I expect different things from people, and, and it's like um, you got a job, prove to me you're going to hold it. And Tom has more than proved that. And the thing is, he's humble and he's nice about what he, what he does. He involves us. I'm not an outsider. I'm, I'm not put in a corner. Tom talks to all of us, lets us know prior to some things that are going down, and, and I appreciate that. that. That means a lot. So that's, that's my take. Thank you, Scott. Madam Chair, would you like, would you like to go now, or would you like me to uh, save the best for last? I, I don't mind jumping in before you, if you'd like. Okay, please, Vice Chair Cavey. Uh, so when hiring, when hiring anybody, uh, certainly a position like a town manager, uh, uh, it's a very public position. Uh, it ref your performance reflects on us. Uh, to, to a large degree. So it's, it is a stressful uh, process to go through. Uh, as we were looking for a town manager, uh, we, we, I think, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Joe, but I think we were being told that there, there, there was sort of a shortage, not a lot of people, to, you know, the, the, the population wasn't that large of, of currently available town managers. So, um, uh, and I think we had a similar situation in the last hiring where, where there just were not a lot of applicants. And, um, so it, it certainly made it stressful uh, because I, 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 I wanted to do a good job. I wanted to do right by this board, uh, and I wanted to do right, right by the town. Uh, as we met several candidates that, who I think were, were really excellent candidates, um, you definitely uh, rose in, in, in um, my, my interest, my esteem. Uh, you were the most prepared uh, candidate uh, I've ever seen for any job ever. Uh, you really did understand uh, the, the, the town, a lot of the, the nuts and bolts of the, the issues we are dealing with. But even more importantly, I, I think you tapped into something that isn't something that can be easily taught, which is I think you understood uh, our culture. Uh, I think you understood the people of the town, the way they think, the, their values. Uh, I know you hail from only one town over. So I'm sure that that's not a coincidence that this, this that to a large degree, I think that uh, our community is, is something that you, you understood. And uh, as you have you know, worked in this town, um, you know, all the anxieties I, I uh, had about trying to do the right thing uh, dissolved, uh, you, you are a tremendous leader and uh, I think a wonderful mentor, uh, somebody who I, I care very deeply uh, for and I want to see succeed. The um, uh, areas where you seem to, in my mind, have some of the most profound uh, influence and skills really are in the softer skills of, of uh, uh, caring about people, making decisions that are based on, on your humanity, uh, on your uh, compassion for people. Uh, and that you are able to take the skills, the sort of financial skills, the, the analytical skills that you've developed over uh, a very long time, and you're able to 
uh, direct those towards doing good work for people, for services, uh, and to make people's lives better. And uh, I'm grateful that, you, that you've done that. I'm, I'm grateful that you have uh, been willing to take on our community as uh, uh, one that you wanted to work in, one that you wanted to, to see improve. Uh, I know that we picked you up from, uh, from Kingston, so I'm, I'm, I'm grateful uh, that they, they made you available. <laughs> Uh, and the, their their loss has been our uh, profound gain, and for that I'm 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 grateful to you uh, and what you've done for for our community. I'm looking forward to honestly the next uh, the next uh, uh, <laughs> was five more years. No, I'm, I'm I'm looking forward to uh, as long as you are willing to to serve in this community, uh, I will be happy to to uh, work alongside you to get the these uh, uh, important this important work done, uh, and so. The grading itself, uh, you know, I think these are were all uh, noble and important areas in which you know we can we can try to quantify uh, your performance. And I think that you know when you when you get you lay it all out, I think you probably be able to see some some patterns that might help uh, direct you in the coming years. Uh, but I think the for me the big takeaway is really that that uh, uh, your influence on our success uh, has been profound and that as a community, we're grateful for it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Stephen. I agree with my fellow select board members, but I just have to talk about this one thing, this one thing about you that is so phenomenal. Um, there's a grace about you. There is a knowledge of heart, skills, and a knowledge of the soft skills that are both exceptional. I don't know how you do it, but each of us select board members have a different personality, have a different need, and you don't overshadow one above the other. You address everything that that we present to you in an equal way. That's phenomenal. And I have observed you doing the same thing with your staff. It's just a wonderful grace that you have about you. So thank you, and I am so glad, I am so proud you're our town manager. Take that, Kingston. <laughs> May I, Madam Chair? This is deeply personal, and you know it is. Um, <clears throat> my departure from my hometown was very painful. I thought I'd retire from there. Um, due to many factors well beyond my control, that wasn't possible. And I retired. And I saw in the town of Stoughton something that was very familiar in how I grew up in Avon. And I was immediately attracted to Stoughton. Never thought I'd go back into public service. And always regretted the way my public service ended in Stoughton after serving as their state rep on the finance committee, on the school committee. And I asked the five of you for the opportunity to rewrite my final chapter. That's what was most important to me. It was more important than the money it was more important than the contractual terms. It was important that my five grandsons read about it one day, this final chapter versus that final chapter. And you gave me that opportunity. Each of you gave me a unanimous vote that evening, December 12th of 2022. I will never forget that. It was probably the greatest gift anyone has ever given to me. And in this past year of service to the town of Stoughton, uh, I've had the privilege of working e with each of you individually, five very different people. And I can say with all candor and all honesty, I have learned so much from each one of you. Now, this is where I've grown. I could pivot right now and tell you how with each one of you, but would be here till 1130. I have grown so much 
from the counsel, the advice, the friendship, uh, your description of grace and kindness and humanity, uh, there are people that may say, we never saw that. You've brought that out in me. And so has the staff at Town Hall. So I thank you for everything you've done for this opportunity. I look forward to doing it for years to come. Stoughton is becoming, Stoughton has always been great. It's becoming greater overnight because of your leadership. And I'm eternally grateful to be a small part of that. Before I conclude, I, I, I want to, and I know you will join me in this, in not only thanking all the staff of the town of Stoughton who are so dedicated in their service to the town. In particular, I want to thank Mr. Mark Tisdale. Mark has served as your interim on two occasions. Let's face it, had he been interested, he, I would not be here today. There wouldn't have been a search. I didn't come in, and it, as much as I appreciated the praise for discovering all of these issues, I came in with a dossier on my desk of issues to work on that was written by Mark. And Mark is one of the most extraordinary professionals I've ever worked with. And his love for a town that he works for, yet doesn't live in, is off the chart. You know how much humility it took in, in grace and, and compassion and, and caring for him to say, hey, welcome aboard. Here are a list of major crises we need to work on together. And he's never stopped partnering with me and working on those challenges together. So I just want to close my remarks for thanking each of you for the time you put into this evaluation. It is instructional. It's also uh, kind. Your comments will never be forgotten, but your instruction is, is, in, is so valuable to me. And uh, I look forward to a second year where we don't have crises to solve, but we can continue to build a culture now that is, is productive, is fun, is a model for towns throughout the South Shore. And uh, I'm having a blast. And I want to thank every employee of this town who has responded so favorably to everything we're laying out there. The board policy, my implementation, Mark's leadership, uh, the senior staff's leadership, the department head leadership. People are responding and are proud to be in the town of Stoughton. We are not the highest paid town anywhere near the highest paid town in the South Shore. We're not even at average in terms of compensation. We're not a wealthy community. But our employees behave like they're the luckiest people in the, work, in the world. And that starts with your leadership. So I, I want to thank you for your work in this evaluation. I want to thank you for your leadership. I particularly want to thank um, uh, Reggie and Jilda, who get me through every single day. Uh, without them, I, I, I wouldn't know how to do anything. And uh, the staff we have, the department heads we have. Robin Grimm told me when she briefed me before this job, the strength of the town is the leadership of the board and the extraordinary expertise and dedication you have at the department head level. She couldn't have been more accurate than she was in that. So it's been a great pleasure. I, I hope to do this for years to come, and I will always look for your guidance and, and your, and your uh, direction and, and your coaching. So thank you so much. Anything else, Vice Chair Cavey, on this topic? Is that going to be posted online or? Well, uh, I certainly hope so. I know it's going to be posted in Kingston. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Tisdale, you want to make? <laughs> oh, Excuse me, my mic was off, Madam Chair. Yes, it will be posted oh, online your mic is off. and in Kingston. Madam Chair, I want to make it clear that it will be posted online in Stoughton and across every household in Kingston. <laughs> it's being fed right through Facebook right now. You guarantee that. They don't have a billboard policy. They don't <laughs> <laughs> He's going to go home now. They're going to meet him with a police escort at the town line. <laughs> No, we'll send one home with you. How's that? That's even better. <laughs> Last time they did that, Joe, I didn't have a job. <laughs> well, if I could just chip in and say a few words about our town manager. Um, first of all, thank you for making every employee's life a 
pure living hell for the next week. He's going to be walking around, you know, Fort <laughs> on cloud nine. All right. I'm thinking of calling in for the rest of the week, to be honest with you. So <laughs> I, I already have it printed for him, so you can just hand it around. Just read it. <laughs> so, so we appreciate that on behalf of all the employees. Um, but, no, on a serious note, um, it's been a pleasure working with Tom, and I really mean that sincerely. Um, and I mean it because of this, there's a lot of reasons. But when I was contemplating putting my hat in the ring over there, I thought long and hard many, many different nights. And I just knew, I knew it wasn't necessarily the right time in my life to do it. I wanted to spend time with the kids when they're young, coach their sports, and that kind of thing. But I, I always thought I would regret it if your board hired somebody who was just not a rock star or even somebody that I thought I could do a better job than. And you put that to bed very quickly. Hiring him is somebody who motivates you every day. He's a mentor to me. As somebody in my position or other department heads, we want somebody to look up to every 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 day. Somebody who's leading by example, um, and that's huge to me. If I think about it, if you go to work every day and you just you're just doing your job, and there's nobody above you that's really pushing you or that you can learn from, like it's hard to go to work, right? And there's been times in Stoughton where it's been like that for at different times. He motivates you every every single day, and what, what I learned a lot about him, and it's a little thing was I said I was concerned. Like I, I'm waking up at two, four in the morning, thinking about these budget issues we had to deal with: sewer, water, health care, trash, all that kind of thing. Like serious stuff, like millions of dollars in the de in the hole, and I'm like, how are we going to fix this? You know. So I remember he he came in and uh, educated him as quick as I could, and. Uh, the Christmas party's going on in here. You know, the, the, the choir, they're all singing, and the school's in here. Him and I are in that room with a few others, and we're cranking away trying to work on this budget. I learned a lot about him that day because, to me, I'm like, if I'm sitting out here, I really would love to be out here, but I'm not, I'm not actually going to be there if I'm out here. And he, he wasn't either because he, he knew how important it was to be in there cranking away trying to get this, this budget balanced. And I learned a lot about him that day. Um, and what it what it does is is since then he's picked up he's solved a massive problem with the health care the sewer and water subsidy issues that we had um you know the the trash program and those are just the big things those are huge big things that we solved in less than one year massive you know something that you should be proud of i've never seen it done since i've been here um and it makes other employees motivated that you're that hard of a worker I'll be, you know, I'll be at a softball game. I'll, I'll see a missed phone call from him on a Saturday or Sunday. Uh, we talk on Saturdays and Sundays. He's always working. He works hard. He leads by example. And, I, I mean, I could go on and on, but, again, we, I don't want to make the employee's life that much more of hell, hell for the rest of the week. So <laughs> I'll stop there. You guys said everything else well, and I just appreciate uh, having Tom, Tom on board. Hopefully he's on board for a, a much longer time. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate that, Mark. You read it just as I wrote it. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Got to say, though, too, again, that's, I've never heard an employee ever sit before this board and be counted on television mm -hmm. in the homes of everybody in this town, or pretty close to, and ever give accolades to a town manager, as we're just given to you. That is another achievement. So... You know, we can, we can see it from our point, but when, and I've heard this, you know, in all three floors of this building, you know, from different employees, but to have your assistant who nine out of ten times they're waiting for you to slip down the, the steps or something, you know, so they can step right in, uh, but to have the second in command have that kind of faith and trust in you, that's amazing. That's well, let me say you've all inspired me, and I'm grateful for that. I really am. I'm touched. Thank you. An open bar on Tom tonight. <laughs>